Hello everyone, I'm Anne from English Valley Cafe. Welcome back to another pronunciation video. In this video, we're going to focus on the R sound in American English. And I got a question from a viewer, Kishore. He asked how to pronounce or make this R sound in an American accent. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I know that this sound is quite challenging for many students. Um, I know in Japanese, uh, Chinese, Korean, and several other languages don't have this R sound. So when you're trying to say this uh, R sound, you're not used to it. You're not used to working that muscle, um, you know, and knowing how to position your lips and um, your tongue. So that's what we're going to talk about today and do a little bit practice. So I hope by the end of this video, you will be better at making this sound in English. So uh, what I have done is divided this video into three parts. So first, we're going to talk about words that begin with the R sound. And then uh, with R being in the middle of words after a vowel. And then at the end, we'll talk about how to make that R sound um, that comes at the end of the word and usually with the E comes after an E or schwa sound. All right, so are you ready? Let's begin. All right, so in all three parts, I'm going to focus on three things here. You're going to pay attention to what's going on here, the muscles over here. The second thing is to pay attention to the shape of the lips, okay, and the uh, shape of my mouth. And then the third thing we're going to talk about is what's going on with the tongue, what we're going to do with the tongue. All right, so let's talk about the R at the beginning of a word. So what I would like you to do is make this sound here. And notice that when I say of the muscle here tightens just a little bit. And I'm going to, the shape of my lips, I'm going to round it, okay? So it's going to be really, really round here. And my lips is almost uh, touching, not quite, because you'll still see a little space here. And your tongue, you're going to, what you're going to do with your tongue is you're going to pull it up a little bit. But make sure that the tip of your tongue is not touching the top part of the, your mouth or touching the back of your um, upper teeth, okay? So you're just going to pull up your tongue a little bit and leave a space right there, okay? And you'll feel your tongue, um, the back of your tongue will kind of uh, tense up a little bit. It'll be a little bit tight. So you're going to make that... Uh, uh, sound okay now here one thing to keep in mind is uh, with your tongue don't pull it all the way back just move it up and leave it right there let's try to say a few words here that have the sound and I think it'll be easier for you to understand so let's start with rather so again you're gonna make that good and when you say ra, your mouth opens up and then your tongue comes back down. It's relaxed. So rather, rather, try that, rather, good. The next one, round, 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 good. The next one, again. Release, 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 release. Good. The next one. Right. Again. Right, right, right. That's right. Good. The next one. Again. Rust. Rust. Good. Rust. Good. Excellent. So here you'll notice that the shape of your lips is quite close together. Okay. And your tongue goes up a little bit with that little um, tension right in the back of your uh, tongue. 
and then as you go on to say the next syllable you release that uh release the tongue relax it and you open your mouth okay whichever um sound comes after the woo all right the next one we're going to talk about is when the r is in the middle of a word but it comes right after a vowel now here again we're going to talk about the three things that um your the muscles here how it's going to feel the position of your um tongue and also the shape of your lips okay now over here um i noticed that some students tend to separate the vowel and the r sound but here it's going to be together it's basically blended it's one sound okay let's practice seeing some words here and i think you'll understand better what i'm talking about we're going to talk about the three things again so notice here when i say word Er, notice that my lips here is a little bit different the shape of it before in the first r my lips were a little bit more closed this one the mouth here is going to open up a little bit all right so it's going to be er er again er er you'll notice that here your muscle here is not as tight as the previous r that we talked about in this one is a little bit more relaxed here okay so er er and then again your tongue is going to move up okay not to the back not touching the roof of your mouth not touching the back of your teeth it's just going to go up er er good let's try to say this word here word er word word good how about this one girl 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 good now here it's a little bit difficult because you have that r and then you have that dark l sound to get uh, together so girl girl good all right the next one hurt hurt er hurt hurt good next one birth earth birthday birthday good again birthday 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 okay the next one here is a little bit tricky because you got the r in the middle but also r at the end and also here we're going to open up the um, mouth even more we're going to relax the lips a little bit more here than the previous one when we say dirty okay so let's try this harder hard okay notice that my lips here is much more relaxed versus when i said dir okay i was like kind of like this but now my lips is relaxed hard hard so here again the same thing with your tongue you're going to move it up and but you'll notice that everything here um the muscles here your lips are pretty much relaxed okay, and you're going to make that and then har har harder harder good this next one here same thing par par again you're going to kind of relax everything here the muscles here also your lips here par par r again you're going to move that tongue up a little bit not touching anything and make that r r party party excellent if you have trouble with that ty sound at the end i do have a video on that and you can check that out up here or I'll leave it um the link down in the description below and you can check that out. All right, let's move on and talk about the r at the end of a word. Now here you'll notice that the r will come right after the schwa sound. So we have the er like faster, 
Okay, so here the sound is er, er. So again, notice that put your hand over here and you'll feel that the muscles here is pretty relaxed when you say er, er, okay, er. And the shape of your lips is rounded, right? Sh faster, er, er. And again, you're going to um, move your tongue up, not touching anything. Okay, you're just going to move it up a little bit when you make that er sound. Er, er, faster, er, faster. Good. Try the next one here. Master, master, master. Excellent. Next one. Paper, paper, paper. Good. And the next one, order. This one's a little bit tricky because you got the R in the middle as well. So, or, order, 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 order. Good. Order. Excellent. I hope this helps you to understand a little bit better how to pronounce the sound. Now here I have two suggestions for you when you're practicing. The first one is go ahead and exaggerate. Okay, so as you're practicing, try to open up your mouth as wide as you can. Like for example, say rather, rather, order order and when you do that when you're practicing it'll help you to hear that sound and get a feel for how to pronounce the word and the second suggestion that i have is to get a mirror when you're practicing and look at yourself see what's going on with your lips here and what's going on with the position of your tongue and trying to feel um you know the muscles here so it, it helps when you're um, trying to get a feel for the sound here to really um, understand what's going on here when you're pronouncing this R sound. And that will help you a lot um, to pronounce the sound, say the words more accurately and more clearly. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And if there's a sound that you have trouble pronouncing, let me know also down in the comments and I would be happy to make a video. And that's it for this video. If you enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and please share the video with a friend who you know is struggling with this R sound. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and tap on that bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And that's it. Thank you so much. And I will see you back here next week for a new lesson. Take care. Bye.